Hi, my name is David Knopoliski, one of the co-editors on the Fits on the Go blog. I am here with Dr. Paul Siraja. Thank you so much for joining us. He is here to talk to me about his late-breaking clinical trial that he presented at ACC 2015. Can you tell me a bit about the background on how the trial came about? So uh, what we looked at were, was the commercial experience for transcatheter mitral valve repair with MitraClip. This is a therapy that's been available for a number of years but was just approved this past uh, October, in October 2013. And our purpose was to look at the initial commercial experience since this device was approved for therapy. And what did your study find? What were the results? So our, the main results are that there are 564 patients who are treated commercially in the United States, and we found that the success rate and safety profile was pretty favorable. Uh, MR was, was, was reduced to moderate or less in 93% uh, of the patients. And uh, in terms of safety, the in-hospital mortality was 2.3%. Mm -hmm. And given that this is a high-risk uh, population, in fact, many of the patients were at prohibitive surgical risk, we felt the outcomes were reassuring with regards to the commercial use of the therapy. And what type of clinical implications do you see over the next couple of years? So I think it's important to recognize that the TVT registry has, was created to help survey and monitor outcomes once therapies become uh, for use in, or become available for use in the commercial space. And what this, these results do show is that the therapy is being used appropriately uh, according to the labeled indications with a high degree of success. So it helps really supplant the idea or, or I would say support the notion that MitraClip is beneficial for patients with prohibitor risk mitral regurgitation. And do you think that this is a procedure that will be used practically throughout the country in both academic as well as community hospitals, or do you think the procedural aspect may limit it from being used in institutions that don't have as much experience? That's a great question. Um, in the pre-approval studies, there were 42 sites that were participating in the research studies. Since approval, there are now over 100 sites. And so many of these sites uh, are not research institutions. They're not academic. Um, the NCD does specify that the site needs to have experience in mitral disease. And so what that means in terms of whether that's an academic or prior practice, I think that remains yet to be determined. There are volume requirements. But I think the therapy itself is relatively complex and I think it still requires a considerable amount of specialized care right now. Very interesting and extremely good results from the, the, the trial. It's, it'll be nice to see what happens over the next few years and look at the implementa implementation. Yeah. Again, Dr. Siraja, thank you so much for joining us today. This is David Snipoliski with Dr. Paul Siraja here at ACC 2015. To see more interesting videos such as these, please join us at www.youtube.com slash fits on the go.